Nordic Wear Pro cast tradition. Let's take a look. Today I'll be uh, making uh, my version of paella in the um, brazier pan from the pro cast tradition and uh, I have some saffron rice, some venison uh, wild game sausage, clams and mussels and blue prawns in here. We're just gonna throw that in the oven and finish it off. And as you can see this lid fits perfectly to seal in all the moisture. Fits nice in the oven and there we go. The oven's at 350. So I'm going to check on the uh, paella. Uh. Ooh, the lid sealed in all the moisture. It looks delicious, ready to eat. I have the Dutch oven here, and I've prepared uh, clam chowder. This lid is uh, easy to take on and off. It's light, and as you can see, the moisture didn't really stick to the top. In here is uh, my clam chowder. I started off with sauteing the onion, celery, adding the uh, clams and the broth and potatoes and thickening up a little bit and adding the cream and some herbs, thyme, parsley, and marjoram. And uh, it uh, worked out fantastic in this Dutch oven. It didn't stick to the bottom. And you can reheat a soup like this in two in the Dutch oven. And it uh, heats up nice and evenly. And the lid fits on, keeps the uh, heat in there. And you can store it that way, too. The uh, Handles, grips on these are easy to uh, pick up. It's lightweight compared to cast iron and uh, works out wonderful. All right, I have a beautiful piece of Chinook King Salmon here. And I'm gonna put some of my Minnesota River Valley rub on it. So I'm just gonna lightly uh, put a little oil on here. And then I'm gonna Dunk it in the uh, rub. All right. I have the nine by nine square baker here, and we have our salmon with the rub on it. And I'm going to put a little oil, um, olive oil, in there, and then throw the salmon in. And with the nonstick pan, you really don't need to put much oil in it at all. All right. I have my very nice Chinook salmon with the rub on it. And I'm going to take that and throw it in our uh, square baker and sear it. That'll take a minute or two. Ooh, that smells delicious, making me hungry. And I've used this pan before, and it uh, sears the uh, meat or seafood very evenly. And what, what we can do, too, is start it off in this uh, pan on the stove and then uh, go to the oven. Oh, that looks beautiful. So the rub is nicely browned on there, searing in the flavor. I have some roasted vegetables in here, some uh, red onions, red peppers, yellow squash, zucchini, portobello mushrooms, and a uh, little rosemary, thyme, and olive oil. And I roasted them. I'm just storing them in the saute pan. And then we're going to move them over to uh, the 9 by 9 square baker. Okay, so we have our uh, vegetables in the pan. I'm going to add a couple uh, potatoes too. I have some fingerling potatoes, purple and just Yukons. We'll take the salmon and uh, throw it on top of this. And then we're going to take the uh, salmon and roasted vegetables and uh, throw them in the oven. The temperature is 350. The uh, square baker is perfect for uh, this salmon. It's not, fits the burner nice. It's good for the amount of food I did compared to the rectangular 13-inch uh, one. Worked fantastic. Now it's time to see if the uh, salmon is done yet. Oh, yeah, it looks beautiful. Look at that. 
nice beautiful color the vegetables are done the potatoes are browning a little bit and I'm gonna drizzle a little balsamic vinaigrette on there and I'm gonna finish it off with some 15 year old uh, aged balsamic vinaigrette just drizzle a little on top give it a wonderful flavor I have two ideas here for the mini cocotte. I have a uh, borson cheese, lobster, macaroni and cheese. I made the uh, borson cheese sauce, put the uh, cooked pasta in and topped it off with lobster and uh, miso broth I made with uh, some mushrooms, uh, seaweed, cilantro and some uh, shrimp. These were pre-made and then we're gonna put the lid on them and finish them off in the oven at 350. I'm going to take these and place them in the oven. All we'll have to do is warm them up to about 165. Okay, we're going to check on the cocottes. And they look done to me. We're going to check on our uh, lobster macaroni and cheese. And oh, that looks beautiful. Came out fantastic. And, Throw a little Parmesan Reggiano cheese on top, and then a little chives to finish it off. Voila. We're going to check on the uh, shrimp and miso broth with the udon noodles. Oh, that looks delicious. Mouth-watering, so I'm already getting hungry. This is a beautiful way of doing individual servings. You could do a variety at a party or just have everybody uh, have their own little serving. I have a chuck roast here and we're going to uh, braise that in a pan for a uh, pot roast. I'm going to take the salt and pepper and season it nicely on the outside. There we go have the chuck roast and we're going to bring it over to our oval roaster and we're going to uh, braise it in the pan. I'm going to uh, pick up the beef and check on the fond on the bottom of the pan. Look at that. Even a non-stick pan, it creates a nice fond. Now I'm adding the red wine now to give it a little flavor before we put it in the oven. A lid on, it'll seal it nicely and keep all the moisture from the wine in there. And then place it in the oven. I'm going to turn the oven down a little bit to uh, 300 and let it cook uh, low and slow. Uh, roast or uh, nice that way, they come out uh, tender.